Hello and welcome to the sixth and last episode of Thurlish's Live in Season 2, coming to you from the Spin Central studio in Düsseldorf, Germany. My name is Andreas Nie and I have quite a few topics still for the last episodes in store. So without further ado, let's head straight into the news. Oh, to press this button and this button and I'm presenting the first news item which is the German titanium yo-yo called the Tiger um, is on pre-order at yoshop.de currently selling for 200 euros instead of 250 which will be the price after August 15th I believe so if you want to get this sucker don't delay too long and head over to yoshop.de there's also English language uh, selectable. So for all of the, you who don't know German, um, the shop supports English language as well. And you get a chance to buy this titanium. Yo, you're made in Germany. T-I-G-E-R. Took me a while to catch that. Actually, I had to read it in a, in a post uh, by Yo Shop to actually noticing that, but the tiger T-I-G-E-R, Titanium, made in Germany. Yeah, that's right now on pre-order in uh, at the yoshop.de. Um, available, oh, I should say in gold and in a polished raw version. Now on to something else is Yo Chaos. Yo Chaos, you ask yourself, what is that? That is a new site. I noticed that uh, one of the members at the Yo-Yo Village forum over at the Yo-Yo Village... What? What did I say? One of the members in the Yo-Yo Village forum over at Yo-Yo Village. That's what I was gonna say. In the UK, uh, Yo-Yo Village is the the successor store of Yo-Yo Z. Anyway, so Yo-Yo Village has another uh, forum and in that forum, one of the members posted a link in his signature and it was for Yo Chaos. Yo Chaos probably wants to bring, oh, wrong side, wants to bring order and stuff into the world of yo yoing. And I can show you the site in a second by the power of the German internet. Let's see. Boom! There we have it. Uh, that's what it was looks. That's what it looks like right now. Um, kind of loading up here. Um, it is a review site. Um, help you choose your next reviews and tools to help you choose your next throw is the headline of the site and what you can have here or what you have here is uh, reviews. Those of you who know me and have watched episodes before know that I'm a big fan of HighSpeedYoYo.com. Uh, Chris Rhodes does an awesome job reviewing yo-yos. So it's not a small feat to actually uh, try to come close to that. I don't know if that is uh, the actually the goal that this site set out to. But it's a very cool concept, um, although right now uh, slowly loading on my Wi-Fi. So we have to wait a little bit longer. What's going on here? Okay, maybe I will head over here to this one. Uh, so there's uh, reviews on that site, and but what is also very cool and very unique is you can actually compare um, yo-yos. I've done that here with uh, three. Um, you see the material, you see pictures, you see ba basic stats, and um, you get links to the reviews. So that is a really awesome concept I've never seen that on a site before. If that has been done before, then uh, please let me know. I would love to see that. But until then, I would suggest everybody to go over to yochaos.com to check out that awesome site um, because you can add your own reviews as well and help this site grow and prosper. Now on to some uh, yo-yo player news. Uh, Kai Zizen has left Weird. He announced that on his Facebook page. And um, to me, 
um, that kind of remembered me uh, reminded me of uh, Carlos Brown Carlos Brown leaving weird uh, mid last year end of last year and then at Eponic leaving as well um, Carlos went to um, the German brand IOYO and the uh, Etaponic went to Thomas Kuhn now Kai Zizen also leaving kind of Makes me think that where it is bleeding out here. I don't know what's happening there with the Australians. If they can come back with new players. And I don't know what's really up there. If you know, please feel free to comment in uh, this video. Or let me know via Facebook, email, what have you. Right, but anyway, Kai is, uh, has left weird. Also, oh, also wrong button. <laughs> also... Uh, saying goodbye is Tyler Severance. He left Yo-Yo Factory just like Pat Borgeding did uh, last and uh, announced that or said that mentioned that last uh, in the last episode in episode five. So Pat and uh, Tyler both left um, Yo-Yo Factory. Now Yo-Yo Factory, of course, is not uh, in in such big trouble as weird with our sponsored players they still have awesome an awesome list of players um but you know those two are gone now which is quite interesting now for a totally unrelated news there is a new company in in town it's called recess and Let's check if they've got a website and I've got it somewhere loaded here already. You can see it here. Boom. And look who's there. Let's check out the team page. If it loads. Load little team page. Um, and surprisingly, we see Tyler Severance. We see... Pat Borgeding, and we see Kai Zizen, and we see Ian Johnson. Who would have thought? So that's where those guys were heading towards and going to. Um, Recess, as mentioned, brand new company, but not without a plan. They have already three yo-yos announced. First Base, Joyride, and Weekend. Um, if you see one of the mentioned players at Worlds, make sure to ask them for uh, samples of those yo-yos because it was said already that some samples and some prototypes were at hand to try out at Worlds and uh, we can expect great and cool things from these guys. So Recess is the company name and it's found at Recess Intel, I-N-T-L, yeah. Intl.com recess intl.com one word and that brings me to the last news item which is the soul doubt in episode 5 already said that I will be auctioning off this cool collaboration yo-yo between Zami and uh, yo-yo factory in collaboration also with yo-yo expert they managed to raise a lot of money with the sold out and gave that money to charity and i wanted to do something similar and so i put it up for auction and said that whatever price the yo-yo would reach i would meet that price up to 100 us dollars or euros and give the money the total money to a, a charity organization helping children here in Düsseldorf, germany now the auction ended at 40 euros and 50 cents it went to a german player and um, when he paid he actually um, included a little surprise for me because um, originally he didn't think that the price would stop at uh, a little over 40 euros and he felt a little bit bad that the yo-yo didn't uh, manage to gather even more funds so what he did is he rounded up the sum to 50 euros well of course i didn't want to um, stick back or hold back on that and uh, met not the original price of the auction but his total amount so a total amount of 100 euros went to the kinderhospiz um, regenbogenland in Düsseldorf, germany and you see 
the little page where I put in all the data and unfortunately they didn't have a big banner announcing that hey thank you for your 100 euro euros but they sent an email saying uh, thank you for your support for the house which is uh, very necessary and we're glad to have it you know, I mean the, the amount that you send uh, we assure you that the the um, gift no the thingy <laughs> I forgot the word for spender uh, never mind it's gone gone if somebody finds it you can keep it the word I mean uh, so if um, um, so thank you for that for the amount we will take care of it and every euro will be spent um, to benefit the kids that are in our care thank you Kinder und Jugendhospiz Düsseldorf e.V. Yeah. So that is a testament of how awesome the Yoyo community is. And uh, thanks again for the support and thank you for spreading the news and uh, helping out those children. All right. <clears throat> Rushing through here a little bit. Huh. Now, um, one thing I have planned is look at titanium yo-yos um, I managed to get one dream from yo-yo factory I just picked it up from uh, German customs didn't get a really a lot of chance to play it and I also have here a prototype of the tiger polished no unpolished and raw titanium but it's uh, the the final form already um, both of them are pretty close in in uh, specs, so to speak. I don't have the full numbers with me right now, but um, you can see the height is similar and diameter as well. But of course, the shape is different. While the tiger is more of an organic shape, the dream is more of a V-shaped yo-yo or is a V-shaped yo-yo. Um, the Tiger, I think, is a little bit heavier um, on paper. I played them both, though briefly, as mentioned, and both of them are awesome yo-yos. Uh, they, they don't feel heavy at all, neither the Dream nor the Tiger. There was a discussion whether or not the Tiger is too heavy on the Yo-Yo Expert forum. But I can assure you it doesn't feel like that at all. They both speed through the miserable little tricks that I managed to, to do with Yo-Yos. Um, there are videos already out there by more experienced players that really show what these Yo-Yos can do. Um, so both of them are really awesome. Now, the dream I want to cover that as well is coming with this package that I think was introduced introduced with a ricochet way back then I think and then there's the plastic dream still in its original package didn't really have time to unpack that and then we have the uh, aluminum version now the aluminum version, and that's really cool, um, is the color seems to be golden or orange. And then on the back it's red, yeah, because it's the titanium, no, the, the Iron Man version. The color name uh, comes from, well, the Iron Man in his armor, but um, Greg Pettit on the Yo-Yo Expert forum um, at least to my knowledge, mentioned it first that he asked Yo-Yo Factory if he could have half and half of those Yo-Yos, and they agreed. And so I and he and he said that he made uh, a deal with Yo-Yo Factory that uh, other players were able or are able to get that colorway as well. And I thought the idea was neat, so that's what I got as well. Really cool of Yo-Yo Factory to do that. And here is the golden center track. Can you see that? A little bit difficult to see. Uh, maybe, well, the golden, golden bearing. 
not to be confused with golden earring. That is something different. Okay, who is old enough to remember golden earring? No, never mind. There is a, a leaflet saying thank you for picking up uh, the titanium um, dream and a yo-yo factory pouch. Anyway, but so that is just quickly going over that. Then, but I wanted to mention something about titanium because titanium seems to be the new bimetal, seems to be the new craze phase. At the moment, everybody wants to have titanium yo-yos and everybody is making titanium yo-yos. What is interesting though is that they're really expensive. So spending 200 uh, euros right now on this baby, spending 200 dollars on this one and now having to spend 300 on this one and 250 on this one later. Then there is the Citizen, which uh, retails at around uh, 299 maybe as well. I'm not 100% sure it's supposed to be below 300, but uh, not a lot of uh, below that. Then there is the Evora, which is also on its way which costs 270, I think, 315 with a special coating. So a lot of money that the yo-yo community is now pumping into those titanium yo-yos, which is on the one hand a good thing because hopefully titanium yo-yos will um, decrease in price eventually. That's something that Jeffrey Peng and my from Luftwerk um, behind the Evora um, also mentioned as well that uh, hopefully the price will come down but we will see if that is really something that will happen if that will be the latest craze or if that will actually just remain to be a craze and then just fade away eventually all right so those were the titanium yo-yos then I have the store portrait <laughs> let's see of course, I want to end the season with the mother of all stores. And uh, it is, of course, none other than... Boom! Yo-Yo Expert. Founded in 2008, October 2008, by Andre Boulay and his wife, um... Yeah, it's, it has established itself to uh, pretty much the, the biggest yo-yo online store, at least in the Western Hemisphere, maybe even worldwide, globally. Um, it Actually, in 2008, uh, the first order, Andre said, uh, came in when he was going to the yo-yo um, contest, national yo-yo contest. And uh, that year, he was honored by the yo-yo league. Uh, with the title National Yo-Yo Master. Ah, quite a fitting day to start your shop. He has been going strong ever since. Um, he, when he was uh, starting that, um, he was just finishing a master's degree and you probably wouldn't really guess what he studied. He studied um, neuroscience and behavior at the University of Massachusetts Amherst and his wife just finished her degree in uh, graphic arts. Did you know that? I didn't. Um, by the way, um, neuroscience and behavior kind of sounds like what the German yo-yo player Pack studied because he studied computational linguistics and artificial intelligence. There are some pretty smart people out there in yo-yoing. Who would have thought? Anyway, so you probably know Yo-Yo Expert already, so there's not much to be said uh, in terms of introducing the store. It's huge, humongous, and pretty much any Yo-Yo that is available worldwide ends up at Yo-Yo Expert eventually. Even those Draupnirs, those mythical creatures with a bimetal um, thingy that kind of ended up in, uh, at Yo-Yo Expert store eventually as well. Uh, Yo-Yo Expert, of course, does a lot of community stuff. They support contests and uh, even organize contests themselves, be it, um, for example, the Ataponic Fixed Axle uh, Challenge and also, uh, for example, the Greg Pettit Old Man That Can Sort of Throw, if that is the correct name, has been done twice already and 
Greg just mentioned to me a few days ago that he will run a third installment of that contest very soon. And of course, your expert is uh, on board as well. What else is there to say? Um, they, oh, of course, the forum. Huh? Who doesn't know the Yoyo Expert forum? It's uh, pretty much the go-to place if you want to find out something new about, um, for example, manufacturers, because that's where they post news as well. Not only um, exchange a lot of uh, ideas with the yo-yo players in the general yo-yo forum. Although um, it has been noted by some that um, talks have been shifting away from forums generally more to Facebook and Ask FM, Twitter, whatever you will. I guess mostly Facebook and other places. Uh, but still, the yo-yo expert forum is a great source of information and exchange. Um, and then, of course, there's the learning section where you can go through the different levels of uh, yo-yo tricks. And actually, Andre, he started the... While well, this is up, this is loading. Yeah. He started the original tutorials back in 2005. That's 10 years. Who would have thought? 10 years ago. Wow. Uh, another cool thing about Yo-Yo Expert, of course, are the trading cards. There were a series of 2010, 11, 13, and 14 featuring players from all over the world. So, yeah, that's the Yo-Yo Expert forum for you. Um, it is pretty cool, though I sometimes wish that um, uh, it, it would downsize a little if you go through the menus and um, you have, like, uh, manufacturers and then... A to M, I think, and then N to Z, and then the list still is so long that you cannot really scroll to the bottom and get, for example, to uh, Monkey Finger. Um, so navigation needs a little overhaul every, uh, eventually, I guess. And um, yeah, I was uh, told by Andre that he is actually working on a new store. Uh, actually, he mentioned that at Worlds last year. Speaking of which, um, you might think that this guy is so busy with uh, running the store, running the forum, uh, running a, an old really store, an actual store, a toy store that he bought it recently, keeping his five employees busy, um, raising a kid uh, because he's a family man, and uh, driving around with this custom van branded with Yo-Yo Expert stuff, uh, by the way, designed by uh, Jason Week, uh, running contests and everything. You, you might think that he's so busy that he doesn't get to Yo-Yo and that he's probably uh, rusty and, and not really good at it any longer, but you are mistaken because if, you, well, if you've been to Worlds, you know that Yo-Yo Expert Ben, he um, had this little competition going last man standing kind of thing where everybody had to do a trick with a fixed axle yo-yo by yo-yo factory and then uh, the last person doing all the tricks and um, getting everything done would win the pot of uh, i don't know the, the amount of money that everybody threw into and andre was actually i think the second he placed second or third he was uh, in the last three and um, he, I don't know, he, he lost to somebody, can't remember his name, but uh, he managed to go through all the tricks, beat all the people except one or two. So he is still awesome on the string. You better believe it. Don't mistake him. This busy neuroscience and behavior master um, and business master to not be a yo-yo master any longer because he is. Yo-Yo Expert, that's it for that store portrait. And now comes the big moment where this little baby will find a new home. And where's my list? There's my list. This little baby, of course, is the Markman Classic. 
by one drop. And um, I've uh, given away one drop yo yo's um, uh, in every episode since episode two on in season two. And uh, yo yo uh, one drop was very generous to give these yo yo's out as a giveaway for the viewers. And thanks again, uh, one drop, for being such an awesome supporter of the show. Now, uh, where let me get this random org, my little assistant in distributing the yo yo. 22 people, yep, yeah, 22 people did participate in the giveaway, commented on the last video, and now have a chance to actually get this yo yo. And let's see who will be the lucky winner. It's number eight. And number eight is Anthony Friendy. So, Anthony, you're getting this awesome uh, one drop Mark Mint Classic. Uh, congratulations. All right. Now, the only thing that is left for me is to say goodbye. Um, and this is not only a goodbye for this season, but uh, for another for another reason. Um, and actually, I have to admit, I had been here before. <laughs> okay, this little thing. Let me. This little thing is the wristband I had worn for the past well three years, almost two and a half, almost three years, two and a half. Um, that was something I got at the at my first yo-yo competition, which was the Yo-Yo Masters in 2012, where I managed to be the reigning champion of the Open class. Well, mostly because I was the only one entering in that class. Um, they, they put me up at sports class because nobody else was competing in an Open class. And there I managed to reach a top 10 spot amongst 10. But uh, 10 of 10 is still 10 of 10, and uh, I was in the top 10 <laughs> of yo-yo players in the sports class in Germany of 2012. Which reminds me, by the way, this picture is me, of course, and Gentry, and it shows, of course, the world champion in the 1A category 2014. And if you've ever checked out the ranking for the 2014 uh, wildcard round, you will see my name at the very bottom. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am the world's worst 1A yo-yo player of 2014. Somebody else will take this title uh, very soon. And I can only hope that, well, only hope, but it would be really cool if whoever pl places last this year also will get the chance to uh, get a picture with the then new reigning yo-yo champion of 2015 and if you do uh, make sure to send it to me some somehow let me know it would be really cool to see that picture to see the world's worst and the world's best 1a yo-yo player arm in arm side by side anyway but getting back to this wristband it was around my wrist uh, just a mere two hours ago when I first recorded this episode and until I found out that unfortunately the file was corrupt so I had to redo the whole show so they don't get to see me cut it um, this time around but uh, so this one has to go but something else uh, will take its well, take, not a take its place, but um, this one will be playing a rather important role soon. It's a custom-made yo-yo bag, and in it is a custom-made yo-yo by Monkey Finger Design. A really, really awesome combination. 
it's one of a kind and oh, it's one of a kind and this is uh, rather rather dear to me and the whole meaning behind it um, so anyway I'm really I will tell you the story of this yo-yo eventually um, I'm sure but until then I say thank you for watching and for the last time ever Andreas Nie signs off Thank you.